I'm three moves ahead, man. Welcome back, guys, to episode eight of season two of Par. And what could Par deliver in this episode? I've seen someone comment that Par used to go for episode three, episode eight, and episode ten being the best episodes of the season. Um, well, was this one of the best episodes of the season? I'm not too sure. Let's talk about it. Let's discuss it. Let's break it down. We do kick off the episode with the cartel guy. He's in the he's in the bathtub. He's receiving. Head, and uh, just to confirm, this guy is gay, um, which I kind of thought just the way his mannerisms and the way he got on. Big cartel boss, wearing mascara, and is gay. Oh, pa, it's a big rich town, yeah. But essentially, the gist of this conversation is this guy wants to, he wants ghosts to handle things so he doesn't have to deal with this right here, right now, right here. When we see Ghost talking to Tasha, and he... It just seems a bit extreme here that Ghost now wants to wipe out Lobos. Like, it, it uh, seems like it's came from nowhere, um, to be honest. Tommy confronts Ghost about this, and he's like, we can never get out. Ghost's idea is we wipe out Lobos, we get all the money, and we can just quit. Like, how, how would that work? Like, we get all the money? Like, would your crew not be like, well, what the fuck? We've just sold all this money, and you're, you, here you are trying to sell it. Ridiculous. Kanan is back. Sean confronts him. He's like... Uncle T wants to see you, man. Uncle T wants to see you. But, of course, we're getting this big meeting later on with the cartel and um, Lobo. Look, that Lobos is the cartel. Lobos, Tommy. We think Ghost is going. Angela doesn't really know about where it's going down. But the FBI think it's going down at one lo location. But, of course, Angela, you know, figured it. Ghost then sits down with Lobos. Lobos tells Ghost that he wants the, out of the picture and he wants you to run New York. You can be my New York guy, and then my other guys can run their bits. So, fair enough. Is that going to go according to plan? I'm not too sure. But it looks like at this point we've got this meat strapped down, this meat locked down. Kenan, though, he's talking to his number two. He's talking about making moves. It looks like they're just trying to push everybody that's connected with Ghost and Tommy's crews against... Um, Tommy and Ghost themselves. It's more Ghost though. Like they're kind of like yeah, Tommy and Ghost come as a, a, a you know a deal together. But no, no gets me though. I just don't understand every, everything that Ghost has done. And Tommy is like backing this guy to the hills. It doesn't make much sense for me personally. It's almost like a show breaker. Like this guy's literally sleeping with the enemy. He's sleeping with Angela, who's on, like on the verge of like bringing this your 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 you know your criminal organization down. And, and, and like Tommy just lets it slide, and he just doesn't seem like the sort of guy that'd be like that. To be honest, it just seems a bit ridiculous. Uh, one of the lawyers then gets a shipment dropped off, but he can't afford to pay for it. And he's like, "I know you're not going to beat me up." He's like, "You're Cuban." He's like, "I'm not fucking Cuban, man." Which I thought it was a funny scene. Then Ghost goes to him later on, and he manages. That's his new lawyer. Ho ho, quality man. Tommy then confronts Tash. He's like, "Ghost has completely lost his way. Now he wants to kill Lobos. What the fuck is going on?" And Tash is like. Maybe it's a good idea. But then Tasha finds out for Tommy that it's because of... Um, I was about to say Adelita there. What am I all about? Lol, but uh, what, what Tommy meant was well, he, he says it. he thinks Ghost is trying to run with the money and then that puts the idea in Tasha's head that, holy shit, he's trying to run with the money and he's going to take uh, Angie, Angela with him, which, I mean, I think is a pretty mighty accusation. I, I just don't like this, man. You've got all these affairs going on and people are right, just fucking jobbing deals out and shit, left, right and centre. I just, honestly, Sean um, gets confronted by Ken and he's like, so how long you been hitting um, Tasha? And, he, and then he's like, oh, he's like, well, if you're hitting Tasha, the, her, her and Ghost fucking tried to bring me down. They're the ones who put me in jail, son. You don't see that? It's like, it's like, what sort of special ed tells Tasha, te Tasha telling you? And he's like, she told me about the meet where Ghost is having it, and that's how Kaden finds it. So Kaden's like, ah, oh, maybe this relationship could be used. So Kaden goes sit down with uh, Ruiz, and will Kaden be able to get Ruiz on board and the rest of them? That is the big talking point here, and I, I, I like these sit-downs. I like the fact we've established these crews, and they can sit down and talk. And then Ruiz goes to the Serb, tells him that, they're thinking about moving away, and so I was like, why would we do this? And, and, and then he tells him about the fact that Tommy and Ghost are the ones that hit his shipments, and then he tells him, it was like, because I was the one there, I, I was actually a part of it. So yeah, this serves a crazy motherfucker. It seems like at this point, like, you, you've got all these people against Tom and Ghost, T Tom, Tommy and Ghost. I'm really intrigued to see how that gets handled. The serve doesn't really want to buy this, but then Kanan 
and the rest of the crews that come down that are totally against Figgy. So at this point, it's really not looking good for Tommy and Ghost. If we're being honest, um, Angela and Ghost then get it on, get it on. Angela then follows Tommy and uh, Ghost, and she sees them both going into the hotel. She then rings Greg, telling Greg that no, that this meeting's happening at this hotel. So at this point, this is what's absolutely crazy here. Because this is when the FBI decide, well, we're not going to listen to our point of view. We are going to go to this hotel that Angela set up. And then we see the FBI raid the hotel. Here, a couple of shots go off. You're led to believe it. Oh, could Ghost be dead? Turns out Lobos' bodyguard is killed in the process of all this. Um, Tommy is arrested. He is, like, slabbering. He is hurling insults at Angela. So Lobos is arrested. Tommy is arrested. So, I mean, this is me. For this... <laughs> It was pretty good, and then Sean confronts Kenan about this, and then he's like, we need Ghost dead, son. And then, obviously, the number two isn't very happy that, you know, Sh Sean is being tasked with killing Ghost, and he's like, he's the only one that he can trust. I will do it. So that, I'm interested to see that. We did see where Ghost was in the hotel, um, and he actually seen that Angela was on the phone, and now he knows that Angela's completely turned bad. And I, I think Angela's dying. I, I Honestly, I, I just do not see much room for her going forward into like season three surely this is a line that's been crossed at this point absolutely been crossed she then get, receives a text from a uh, ghost saying about oh i had to use my new this my new phone blah 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 and then she just gets rid of the burner that she had that was obviously connected to his phone getting the text and greg also though he wants to know who our source is tomorrow so i mean a lot of things are up in the air a lot of stuff happened this episode but i don't it just feels it just it just felt very muddled to be honest, and I, I feel like we're just forcing this storyline of keeping Angela with Ghost and Angela alive, and I'm not a fan of it, but you know what, I think it was one of the better episodes we've had in a while, so I am going to give it a 7 out of 10, guys. But anyway, that will do it for episode 8 of season 2 of part 7 out of 10.